Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday! Yay, it's the weekend! Yes, I, I have had a very, very stressful week. I will tell you all about it on my live on Monday, but it has been, it has been crazy. But anyway, you're not here for that. You're here for this. This is uh, my second of my third pre-orders. This is the Druid of Hampshire by Cheryl Baker. And this one is no longer available on Craftably's website. And the reason for that is because, I'm pretty sure I'm correct in this, originally it was offered as a 30 by 40 inch diamond painting kit. And what Craftably received was a 20 by 28 inch kit. So the size was not what was originally ordered so they were very nice and refunded um, the difference of the amount uh, to pretty much anyone that kept the kit so um, yeah I just I can't I can't say enough nice things about the customer service with craftably and just their constant communication has just been amazing through all of these you know pre-order uh, issues. So I'm excited. Then it doesn't matter to me that the kit is a different size than what I originally ordered. Um, in fact, to me, smaller is probably better because that means I'll probably get it done faster. <laughs> uh, this is the tool kit that comes in uh, every kit. It's the real nice, pretty craftably burlap bag and purple um yeah oh get some washi tape i got a christmas washi tape and an aqua it's like a aqua wavy line washi tape nice oh that's new i don't have that one that is a little here can i get it out Oh, it's taped down. Anyway, it's a glittery star. Yeah. And of course you get your purple tray. I showed all this in the previous pre-order, which I will put up in the eye so you can uh, see that. You get tray, squishy, purple tweezers, um, skinny multi-placers, and you also get their caddy of wax. So everything you need to diamond paint is right there in that pretty purple burlap bag. Yes. Okay, stay there. All right. I'm kind of interested in what this one's going to look like since um, it is smaller, but sorry, I'm trying to get the tape off. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to cut that. Um, well, I'm a hot mess today. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's going to look fine. I think uh, it'll look just fine. So, this is the kit. These are the drills. Oh, yay, these are in baggies. Okay. All right. This is your inventory sheet. Um, this one has 58 colors. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ABs and two crystal, uh, two crystal, um, drills. One looks purple. One looks like it might be mm, like a gray. Um, that is the Druid of Hampshire, the Cheryl Baker. And again, it's 20 by 28. And this, this is a round drill kit, of course. Y'all know me, round drill kit. Um, but these stickers are nice because you can just peel these off and put them on the baggies that are already, you know, bagged up for you. Or you can put them on your containers. They are a little big. Um, the stickers are a little large for normal size containers, but I've made them fit. Um, actually, I'm working on Kieran and Bacaneco, and I made them fit on... Elizabeth Ward containers. 
So this is your craftably uh, little, you know, instruction sheet. It tells you how to diamond paint, gives you a customer service number, share your progress on social medias. Nice. Okay, let's see here. All right, I'm gonna roll this the other way. You can do this because it is a poured glue canvas. Do not do this with double-sided adhesive or mounting film. Okay, and this just, if you roll it the other way, it just lets it um, lay flat. Okay, there we have it, look at this. Nice, sorry for the glare. So you've got this, I, I don't know what he is. He almost to me looks like a guinea pig, <laughs> but still, it's very cute. And he's a druid and it's fantasy related. And yeah, let me move these so they're not as glaring. Very nice, very nice. Okay, in the bottom left, you've got your schematic, and then of course the title and the artist, Cheryl Baker. Um, on the camera. On the left side, you've got your key code, um, and this gives you your, um, come on camera. This gives you your um, numeric number, um, your symbol and your DMC code. That top, of course, you've got craftably. And then in the bottom right, you have another key code. Um, I like when they have key codes on both sides of the canvas because that way it doesn't matter where you're working on the canvas, you've got a key code. All right, let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit, get more of the painting in there. Wow, this is going to be cool. So I'm starting to tend to purchase kits that are more fantasy related, um, have more of a, you know, I'm tending to lean more towards the darker artwork, um, not evil per se, but just, you know, borderline sinister kind of thing. Um, but anything fantasy related, I love, so. This is awesome. Yeah, I am bummed. This one is no longer available on Craftably's website, but um, anybody that did get in on it, I hope that you kept your pre-order and you know got this awesome kit. All right, I am going to pull this plastic, which is very thick, by the way. It's awesome that this plastic, plastic is thicker than a normal plastic. So I'm gonna pull it halfway and then gently roll it back. just to try and get some of the creases out. I didn't do that very well. The creases are only in the plastic. They're not in the canvas at all. The back of the canvas is a very soft lint canvas and you've got scalloped edges, so you're not gonna have any fraying. Yes. This is the Druid of Hampshire. Love it. Love it. Love all these colors. Okay. Uh, let me show you the um, drill field. If my camera will focus. Yeah, the drill field has always been clear. I know I say that every time, but I have never had issues with um, with like fuzzy symbols or anything blurry, anything like that. I've never had an issue with that. I've also never had issues with glue not sticking, um, like any sections of the canvas not being sticky. So, all right. Like I said, they're pre-bagged. You get your, the Druid of Hampshire sticker on the top. 
Oh yeah, I already see the crystals down here. What's nice about these, crinkle sound by the way, what's nice about these are usually they put the ABs and the crystals down at one end. Oh, I see a runaway drill. Nah. Hold on. Get back in there, Shug. All right. <laughs> okay. This is your blue crystal and, oh, it's like a really pale, pale blue crystal. That's really pretty. Okay. Then these are your two crystals. Come on camera. So you got like a pale blue and then a real pretty dark blue crystal. Love it. Okay, and then you've got all the ABs. Oh my goodness. So it looks like you've got one, two, three green ABs, an aqua AB, a light purple AB, a dark purple AB, <laughs> and a white AB. So just to give you an idea, these are all of the ABs. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And then of course you've got all kinds of colors. I'm not gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not gonna pull all of these out. But yes, so you got lots of ABs. And of course you can, you know, change this. You can put different, you know, special drills in there, however you wanna do it. All right, I just wanna see where the crystals go. 57 is Looks like a Mercedes symbol, um, or an upside down Y. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's wherever you see a light blue. So look here, see this light blue and up through here. Yeah, that's gonna be where your crystal goes. So anywhere you see a light blue. So yeah. Do, do, do. Yep, over here. Um, yeah, and then I can tell you right now, this one is the sideways T symbol. Yeah, that's gonna be all up through here in his forehead area where he's got like this flowery thing, all these sideways dark blue, the T's, so it's gonna be all through there. Camera, I am going to destroy <laughs> um, Up here, see that dark blue section right there. And then you've got a section over here. Yeah, so just a few not a whole lot of crystals in this. I, I probably would have liked to have seen more crystals um, just because I really think crystals um, make the canvas really pop. Um, but again, you've got six ABs, so I guess <clears throat> they didn't wanna overshadow all of the ABs. So yeah, there are gonna be a lot of ABs in this canvas. I'm not gonna sit here and try and go through every single AB because we'll be here all day and I know y'all don't want that. So, yes. So this is an awesome, awesome painting. Let me turn this around so I can try and get the wrinkles out. See, when I pull the plastic back, there, there are no creases in the canvas at all. I'm trying to do this so you This is hard to do on film. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Love it. I love all the different colors in this. At the top, you've got all kinds of purples and, of course, you know, greens with all of the leaves and things. And then you've got, it looks like he's got something on his head. I can't tell if those are like leaves or, I think they're some kind of leaves. And he's got a scroll back here coming out of his backpack. Um, looks like 
another type of rollout scroll. Um, let's see. Of course, he's holding his, I guess it's like a, a, a stick, a wand kind of thing. You've got like crystal gems right here. I guess that's coming out. Is that coming out of his stick? I think so, right here. Yeah. Very cool. He just, I know it says he's a druid, but with his robes and everything, he kind of reminds me of like a little wizard. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the druid of Hampshire. Um, I had ordered this a while ago um, from a pre-order and got it last week. And I have one more pre-order that is still on delay. It's a turtle uh, pre-order that I will show you as soon as I get it in. But yeah, I wanted to show you this, the Druid of Hampshire. I'm so sorry for the glare. Yes, absolutely love it. Isn't that great? Look at his little face. Look at his little face. I think once all the drills get on, you know, the canvas with all the ABs and everything, I think it's going to look really good. You got, oh, I didn't even see this. There's a dragonfly over here on the, on the right side. All right, Skylar wants to get in on it too. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> she wants to get in on the video as always. Hi. Anyway, Skylar says um, she hopes all of you have a great weekend. So, yeah. But that is the Druid of Hampshire from Craftably. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you purchased this kit. Um, and if you kept it, uh, what did you think of the smaller size? I think it's great. I think it's going to turn out fine. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think there are going to be any issues with it. Um, yeah, I think it's going to look great. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what pre-orders you have gotten from Craftably or if there are any you are still waiting on, let me know. Uh, I am waiting on, like I said, I'm waiting on the turtle and then in the next batch of pre-orders, I'm waiting on a mystery diamond painting, which I'm really excited to get um, and a couple more, uh, I think. So, yeah, but I hope all of you have a great weekend and I will be live on Monday um, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we're going to chat all about my awesome week. It's been amazing y'all. Amazing. But anyway, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.